we have had an introduction to the unit circle and we looked at just the 90 uh, going by 90 degrees on our rotation this right here is actually our unit circle you do not need to copy this down um, I will be printing off the unit circle and giving it to you so you will always have one um, but with this this is how the unit circle works if you notice here based on my unit circle I have all these different values okay so we're gonna be looking at just the highlighted ones that I have there okay so if I'm looking at let's go with the 120 this tells me that at 120 degrees which is also 2 pi over 3 so this gives me degrees and it gives me radians so I don't have to do a conversion between the two it already tells me the difference okay and it also tells me the coordinate at negative one half comma the square root of 3 over 2 so how does this work well if you look here at the top it does tell you here um, but just as a refresher, cosine is your x value and sine is your y value. So if I were to say what is the cosine of 120 degrees, I'd look at just the x value and it would be negative one half. And that would be my cosine. So I'm just looking at the unit circle with specific measurements. So when you're using the unit circle, you can use those different measurements as well. Now, if I'm looking at, uh, let's say that I'm looking at the lower numbers here, if you notice there, they also give you the negative measure. So it's 315 or that negative 45 so you have both of those measurements in order to figure out if it's a negative degree or not again it still gives you the radian measure um, if you're in the positive direction it'd be 7 pi over 4 if you're in the negative direction it's negative pi over 4 so all you're doing is using your unit circle in order to calculate different values of sine and cosine here's the tricky part we don't actually have any values of tangent so in class I will be giving you the values of tangent but if you wanted to uh, remember that the value of tangent the value of tangent is y over x so for instance if I wanted tangent 45 Okay, so I would go to the 45 degree measure, which is here, and I'm looking at those coordinates. So I would have the square root of 2 over 2 divided by the square root of 2 over 2. Now remember, when I'm dealing with division of fractions, it's really the multiplication of the reciprocal. So the square root of 2 over 2 times 2 over square root 2. So if I look at that, that's actually going to cancel to be 1. So the tangent of 45 equals 1. So this is all stuff that you can still do without knowing the specific measures that I'm going to give you, but it works out easier if I just have you write them off to the side. So again, key here is look for your degree and or your radian measure. It's listed below. Your coordinates are x comma y, which are, as you can see here, cosine and sine.